Welcome to all of you on Localwell YouTube channel. In today's video we will learn how you can add sales to the Localwell app. So let's start today's video. Adding sales to the Localwell desktop app is a very easy process. So see, for that you are given three different options at the top. First is purchase, second is stock, and third is sales. To add sales, go to the sales section. There are three options, add sale, sales return, and add payment. We will click on add sale. After clicking add sale, this interface appears. On the left, the first option is sale type, including invoice, delivery chalan, branch transfer, and quotation. In this video, we focus on billing, so we keep the default invoice selected. The invoice number autofills based on previous sales. Next, select the date for this invoice. Select the current date. There are two ways to add a sale. First, add the customer's name. After that, add the products the customer needs and do the billing. The second process is cash sale, where we don't add any customer's name. We just add the products and bill them. First, let's know the cash sale. Leave the customer name for now. Suppose a customer wants to buy Dolo 650, use the search or scan barcode. When you click on it, you will see. Here it is showing you start scanning to a product here. So this means that you can also do barcode billing by printing barcode cables with the help of local wealth. Barcode billing is much faster than manual methods. Just search for Dolo 650, find it and click. Add the 650 mg Dolo stock, create batches and select the needed batch. Once you add a batch, the rest fills in automatically, including expiry date and number of medicines per stripe. Now, whatever packets the customer needs, you can fill them here. Often, they don't need the full pack, just 2 or 5 tablets. For that, you can see the loose billing option. So, if they are taking 3, 4 or 5 tablets, you can fill that here. Click add to see two packets of Dolo 650 mg added. You can edit or delete if needed. To save changes, press Alt plus S. Then, Select the payment mode. If you are confused about these payment modes or want details, a dedicated video is on our YouTube channel with cash and bank feature. Click the i button above to watch and understand better. For now, we received cash, so we'll select cash on hand. See, we've easily generated an invoice by adding save. Now you can also print this invoice. For that press CTR plus P and if you want to share this invoice then see if you press F2, you can share it on WhatsApp or SMS if you want. Additionally, to export as a PDF, press F4. In the sales section, you'll see the cash sale and the invoice we generated. Alright, that was the cash sale. Now, how do we add a sale for a specific customer? The process is the same. Go to sales, click add sale and pick the customer. For new customers like Mahesh, use create new on the right. Press F2 to add. First of all, select the category of customer whether it is an individual or a business customer. After that fill the name of the customer here. Enter the customer's mobile number here. Apart from the category and name, all other options are optional. Fill in the necessary information here. After completing this, press F2 to save. The customer is now created. See, as a new customer, this is our patient for now. We made a video on our YouTube channel about the concept of customer and patient. If you click the i button above, you can understand this concept by watching that video. Also, you'll see the doctor option here. 
you can add a doctor just like adding a customer. If he is already added, he'll be visible here, otherwise press F2 to add a new doctor. Then, add the medicines the customer needs. After adding the products, you simply press Alt plus S for more options. If the customer paid, select cash. If on credit, choose unpaid and credit. You can also specify payment days allowed. Select the date. For now, we'll pay in cash. Press F2 to continue. Next, you'll see the same payment option. This time, we've received payment in UPI wallet, so select UPI wallet. You can also enter the transaction or UTR number here. After that, press F2 and save it. This way, you can easily add a sale in the local well app with a customer name or even a cash sale. To learn how to add a sale in the local well mobile app, we have a video for that too. Click the i button above to watch it. Hope you liked our video. Subscribe to Local Well YouTube, like the video, and leave feedback in the comments. See you in the next video with new content. Bye bye.